for my ballerina niece, Charlie. As crimson curtains swept the stage behind you, I ventured through the crowded theater to find you. The green room was now pink, with tutus and tiaras saturated in a chaos that could only be caused by 25 sugar-high eight-year-old girls, and there you were. You didn't see me. You were sitting at a table round like your belly couldn't reach the ground so your feet were dangling, your eyes locked on the piece of cake before you as though they dropped anchor in its princess frosting. I watched you break the cake into tinier pieces, dragging fork lead heavy, smearing into corners only to toss the entire plate in the trash. You didn't fool me. I was watching you the entire time. You didn't even taste it. My sweet Charlie, I wanted to write you this poem and have it be your anthem, help you embrace your curves like mountains embrace ridges so easily. But I couldn't finish it. I kept getting interrupted by the growl coming from my own empty stomach, reminding me of my glaring hypocrisy. I can't tell you to nourish your body when my own is running on empty. Eat your food, baby, loses its meaning when said from on top of a bathroom scale. The truth is, you and I were raised in this disorder, in the city of angels where billboards are dedicated to liposuction and tummy tucks. Citizens more invested in throwing up than growing up should have called it Never Never Land. Here, family reunions are patients quarantined. Judgmental eyes size each other up with each greeting. Skeletons obsessing over cellulite and carbs. Here, we eat dinner on eggshells. End evenings on bathroom scales, fingers fish hooked down throats hunched over toilet bowls. Here, we measure our worth in waistlines, in calories avoided, in a man's validation. We were teaching you the lessons all along. Being fat is worse than being wrong. Being skinny is better than being strong. We do what it takes to belong, even if it hurts us in the long run. We, Cooper women drowning in a wave pool disorder, beg the youngest not to fall in while holding each other underwater. We know it's wrong, yet understand it as inevitable. You. Beautiful ballerina, you, belly round like mine. I do anything to make you believe it does not have to be inevitable. The stakes are too high to compromise when little eyes are always watching. 